Hello, my readers. I am so, so excited because you are all really becoming such strong word detectives. So far, we've learned that the first thing that a word detective does is that they notice a problem and stop to solve it. They don't just keep reading. We also talked about how word detectives look closely from start to end. They find the parts and blends in a word and use that to help them read. Sh, ah, uh, shops. And of course, mission number three taught us to use everything that we know when reading. All of our good habits for solving tricky words, all of our good habits as readers, like taking a sneak peek, right? Well, today I heard that your mission is to do a slow check to help you see if the word that you read was correct. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The book that we are reading is called Beanie and the Missing Bear. My name is Beanie. I am a detective. That means I solve... Hmm, I need some help over here. I solve my stories. I saw, I see my, I see a blend here, my st, a, like the short e makes a, my stares. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. I noticed that that's a problem. So let me try it again using everything I know. Now, if the e doesn't make the short e sound, it could, maybe it sounds like E instead of a, that means I solve my theories. Hmm, no, no, no. Oh, let me try it another way again. And look at the picture. Okay, I see that they're detectives. Oh, mysteries. That means I solve mysteries. So let me take a look and look super, super closely do a very slow check. That means I solve mysteries. Mysteries. Let me read the whole page again. My name is Beanie. I am a detective. That means I solve mysteries. That makes sense. So my friends, today when you are reading, make sure you do a slow check when you come through a problem word and continue to use everything you know to help you solve it, right? So in order to check the word, first we have to use everything we know to help us solve it. Then we do that slow check to see if it looks and sounds right. And we want to ask ourselves, did the word, does the word also make sense and match what's happening in the picture? So friends, when you do that today, you can write the words that were problem words for you that you did a slow check on in the Google assignment. And of course, read independently and then read with a partner.